the ORE wheel carrier. I've had it for over six months, it's actually nine months since I installed it on this video. Can't wait to go and test it. I'm sure I'll be doing a video in the future, testing it out, seeing what it's like to live with. Ah! I've just given it a clean up, just a little bit of soap and water, and I can't believe how good it looks. It looks unbelievable, and the operation's great. Giving it a little bit of grease here and there just to make sure it's working perfectly, but let's have a look at the detail. So today, really what we're gonna look at is what it's like to own down the line, you know, nine months later, a lot of off-roading and mud and salt and all the sort of things down the line and how it looks, you know, I'm really impressed with how it looks. So for anyone that doesn't know about the ORE wheel carrier, I just wanted to point out a few features why you definitely would want one of these and why it's unique from anything else. First of all, as you can see, it's completely separate from the door. It's mounted with a little stainless steel, little mounting bracket here that actually connects it from the door. And that is literally just so it sticks to the door when you open and close it. And it puts all the weight through the crush member, which is attached to the chassis. And all that weight of the rear wheel, an upgraded heavy rear wheel goes down through the chassis, which is fantastic. And eliminating all noises from the rear door and stopping all that shake and pulling your rear door apart. Almost all accessories you can get on the market for Land Rovers are black, but unlike this one, they peel off and they rust and they scratch and then in turn fall apart, which is a bit of a shame. This one has got this ORE special coating on it that's developed for industrial locations and can stand up to anything that you throw at it. It's scratch resistant, knock resistant, rust resistant, and it's fantastic. I'm actually gonna be doing a film on what this coating is all about and why it's so special at a later date. I'm no engineer, but Chris at ORE is. They developed this with a lot of more knowledge than I have. And uh, I actually sometimes get a little bit confused by the technology, but I'm gonna try and run a few of these things that makes this last. And it's the reason that it's still here and it looks almost brand new. If you're looking at this video, I'm sure you can appreciate quality and even just looking at these units, you can tell there's a lot of design and uh, manufacturing quality that goes into it. You can see the main bolt holding it all together through this bracket and into the bearings on this main unit here, all greasable with the nipple there. It's so smooth, you wouldn't even know that you're opening and closing it. And even after nine months of harsh, coastal, muddy conditions, it's still lasting absolutely amazingly. And that's down to the development that the team did leading up to the launch and what's keeping it on the road today. No magic here, no fancy brackets, no sliding mechanisms on the door. A long plate across the front here with a plate on the back, stainless steel hardware going through the cross member, holds it all together, you tune it up when you install it and that keeps it sturdy and I haven't even touched it once since I've owned it. Since my ownership, Boris has had a new cross member. They unbolted it, put a new cross member on, bolted it back on. I didn't touch it at all, tuned up absolutely as it was as I got it without instructions as well, which is fantastic. Most other wheel carriers on the market go from the cross member, attached to the door and up through the body as well here. Unfortunately, that tends to sort of pull away at the body. The body actually isn't designed to take a weight like that. And if you haven't secured it properly down here, like this one is, it starts to pull on the door down and start to pull on the body as well, and it'll start to crack. This one, thankfully, all the weight goes through the cross member here and it eliminates any problems like that. And also keeps this area looking really nice and clean. So my favorite things about the wheel carrier are the fact that you can upgrade your wheel. I used to have an old style, much smaller steel wheels, much smaller tires on it. Having a spare wheel mounted back here that's exactly the same size as the wheels that you're running on the car currently means that you can do a direct swap, swap them over. And if you've got a puncher or anything like that, or if it breaks, you can swap them over and you can even run them for six months. Almost immediately after I swapped my tire size and swapped to this ORE wheel carrier, it happened. I got the puncher, I got a screw through the tire and I had to run it the other way around. I had the flat one back here for a while and I'm really glad that I actually had that full size spare to run because I run it for about two weeks before I actually managed to get it fixed in the end. And that's really helpful. That big weight on the back, you wouldn't be able to do it if you had it on an old style wheel carrier on the back here, mounted through here. Mine's actually cracked before and now I've fixed it up and there's been no cracking ever since. There's many things I love about it, but the final one I'm going to talk about today is when I installed it, there were no holes I had to drill. Just go straight through the cross member here. Didn't have to drill any through the body there. Kept it original and didn't have to faff around like that. Just bolted it on, straight on, and it was ready to rock. So that's fantastic. You want to make sure that the rubber stopper is tuned up nicely. I did it in my install video. 
and uh, what you want to do is make sure to measure it up so that it actually sits nicely against there before it closes and that stops it from actually wobbling around at all. You can actually watch it through your rear view mirror, you see the wheel here, not one bit of movement off it which is absolutely brilliant. Six months of driving around with it like this, not even tuned up once and it's still perfect, it doesn't make any noise, it doesn't wobble around at all. Having a product that's designed and built this well speaks volumes for the longevity. I can tell straight away from just a little bit of a clean six months down the line, as you can see from these pictures, that it almost looks brand new. And the same goes for the operation. The bearings are absolutely fantastic. The stainless steel connectors haven't worn at all. So I'm all about buying quality products that will last you, ones that will outlive the Land Rover and you won't have to keep buying again and again and effectively costing you two or three times the amount than if you just bought quality in the first place. I'm so glad that I made an install video for this because ever since then people have been asking me about the quality and the build and if they should get one and it's so great to see all the different countries that people have brought them from and from the feedback I've heard from these people they're all as happy as me and I just wanted to show you a few of the photos that I've seen from people on Instagram as well. I'm pretty sure all of these people were as excited as I was receiving the parcel in the mail, getting it on, hopefully watching my video to install it and finally showing it proudly online. Once you've got one of these products installed you've almost become part of a club and it's fantastic to see all the different people and places that have these installed on their Land Rovers. Today I gave it a tiny bit of grease here, had a little look over it, gave it a clean and it looks like brand new but the fact that I haven't had to like tune anything up tweak anything around since that date is a testament to how well designed it is. Boris's list of job grows and grows and grows but this isn't one of them. You don't have to touch it, you don't have to think about it. You put it on and the wheels on there, no rattling, no nothing which is fantastic. Talk to anyone that's bought an ORE product and needed to ask a few questions. They come back to you straight away. ORE's customer service is renowned for being fantastic. Even I when I was doing my install video I did send a few messages and ask about a few little bits and pieces and they came back straight away. It's fantastic to see a British brand making original products with original designs and following it up with the friendliness and the customer service that it deserves. So if you clicked on this video and you're still listening to me, then you know you're a little bit like me and you want good products, British made, good customer service that can bolt onto your landy and you don't have to touch them at all. All in all, it's been an absolutely fantastic nine months of owning it. It's hard to say much about it really because it's so good. There's nothing I can complain about. Any questions about it, I'm on Instagram at Boris the Defender, as you can see here, and also ore4x4.co.uk. Ask them a question, ask me a question, anything you want to do. Hopefully this has cleared up any questions you have about it. And if you own one, I hope that you're enjoying it as much as I am and it looks as good as it does on Boris. Cheers for watching and I'll see you next time.